Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Monday, October 27th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. Hurricane Melissa has exploded. Maximum wind gust to 175 miles per hour, gusting to 215. This baby is a killer. Buckle up, buttercup. And keep calm, it's boom time. Hurricane Melissa is now the strongest storm on the planet this year. Holy macaroni. Melissa underwent extreme rapid intensification over the weekend and continues to strengthen. The rare Cat 5 has winds of 175 miles per hour with stronger gusts to 220 making it the strongest storm on the frickin' planet. I mean, what can you say? Expected to make landfall on the island this morning as the strongest storm since records began in 1850. That's how big this is. This is, it's a no-brainer. It's a big one. I think they should evacuate and leave down here because... Down here does not look safe. When you look at the wind, you can see it coming up. It is not turning back. It comes straight ahead. Yeah, bad news for Jamaica as this storm is about to hit uh, sometime this morning. Now, from now till then, the hurricane force winds gusting to 212 miles per hour are going to be moving on shore overnight. So, this is unprecedented. Situation très pas bon là quand pas parce que jardin mon yo vent là pli craser jardin mon yo jardin pour Congo yo jardin mai yo bon non yo ravage net Je dis à moi même, je nous même nous dans la pluie, je vais essayer d'évacuer les gens, sortir, faire, faire, faire des murs pour me garder comment la situation est, pour me dresser un rapport, pour que vous me remettre à la protection civile, pour que vous me consacrez. Les délégados de Fidel pertenecen à la région militaire de Guantanamo et ils sont listos pour actuer. Jamaicans have started to take shelter from Hurricane Melissa as high winds topple trees and cause power cuts ahead of the Cat 5 storm making landfall on Tuesday. That's their lose day. Melissa currently packing maximum sustained winds at 175 with gusting to over 200 miles per hour. Let that set in. Holy macaroni. The storm is going to continue as a major hurricane as it moves over Jamaica in the morning as a Cat 5 hurricane with maximum sustained winds at 175. It will then move over Cuba on Wednesday as a major hurricane, Cat 2 or 3, uh, which is good news because the wind speed will be down 110 to 130. And then it will move across the Bahamas Wednesday through Thursday with maximum sustained winds at 110 to 120. Absolutely a devastating storm developing. Key message for Hurricane Melissa. Jamaica, remain in your safe shelter and do not venture outside. Catastrophic, life-threatening flash flooding and numerous landslides are expected through Tuesday. On eyewall destructive winds may cause total structural failure and the complete depletion of all vegetation on the island, particularly in higher elevations, leading to widespread infrastructural damage, prolonged power and communication outages, and isolated communities. Along the southern coast, life-threatening storm surge and damaging waves are anticipated through Tuesday. Prayers go out to all those affected. 
Haiti and the Dominican Republic, catastrophic and life-threatening flash flooding and landslides are expected across southwestern Haiti and southern portions of the Dominican Republic through midweek. In Haiti, extensive infrastructural damage and isolation of communities is likely. Tropical storm conditions are expected late Tuesday and into Wednesday. Eastern Cuba, heavy rainfall and life-threatening and potentially catastrophic flash flooding and landslides is, is expected to begin tonight. Life-threatening storm surge and damaging winds are expected late Tuesday and Tuesday night. Preparation should be rushed to completion. Southeast and central Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos. Hurricane conditions, life-threatening storm surge, and heavy rainfall are expected across portions of the southeast and the central Bahamas on Wednesday. Residents should follow advice given by local officials and be sure to have preparations complete by Tuesday night. Tropical storm conditions, heavy rains, and significant storm surge is expected in the Turks and Caicos on Wednesday. And you can see the storm is now at 175 mile per hour sustained winds. That's putting it up into Cat 6 territory, which doesn't even exist. New York weather, nor'easter to bring heavy rain, 50 mile per hour winds to New York City. And will it impact Halloween? Well, yes, indeedy. Overnight temperatures will drop to the upper 30s, to the lower 40s. And, well, holy mackerel. La Nina map shows snowfall forecast for each state this winter. And it's a big winter chicken dinner for the Great Lakes region. Far above average on the models. We've got good news here in this light blue region. Above average snow. Ho, ho, ho for Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana. And look at this. There's this green region that doesn't even have a thingy on the legend. What's going on there? No idea what's happening in the Southwest. And now the full forecast. We've got warm temperatures and fire weather concerns in the coastal Southern California. Hurricane Melissa is impacting Jamaica as we speak. A significant warming trend will last through late in the week over coastal Southern California. Santa Ana winds combined with very warm and dry conditions will likely bring critical fire weather conditions to portions of Southern California. They're fear mongering about that. When we all know that all of those giant wildfires last year were started by arsonists. Okay. Portions of Southwest California Tuesday and Wednesday will be in fire weather threat. Hurricane Melissa will bring destructive winds, storm surge, and flooding through Jamaica. Quick look at the GFS model. We're going to see some heavy snow here Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Here is the weekend. Monday next week, Tuesday. Take a look at this. Wednesday, Thursday, holy macaroni, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, boom time. November 10th, and the Northeast is buried. The Rockies are buried all the way down to Texas, and we've got some good snow in the Sierras as well. Seismic update. We had some major upticks today. We had a 6.4 in the Caribbean. That's not the big boom. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. This earthquake does not have anything to do with the potential hurricane that moved through here. Or maybe it does. It doesn't even matter. What matters is that when the hurricane makes its way across Jamaica and Cuba, that no large earthquakes occur. 6.0 here in Sugra in Turkey, and overall low-level activity worldwide. Space weather look, we've got some coronal holes facing us. Well, and the flaring is pathetic. X-rays now at B6 range. We do have a geomagnetic storm developing. The BZ has pushed far south, 
And well, holy mackerel, we could be getting some geomagnetic storms tonight from a southern pole of the BZ. Take a look at that. It's going all the way south right now. Plasma speed is increasing. Density is decreasing. But it's anyone's guess what's happening now. We are waiting for G1 geomagnetic storm over the next several days, beginning on October 28th and leading us all the way into Halloween. Take a look at these shots of Comet Lemon. Absolutely spectacular. We can see an ion tail. We can see another electrical Birkeland current tail. Just corkscrewing through the back. And so absolutely fantastic. Giant meteor trail photobombs Comet Lemon in incredible telescope footage. A pure perspective miracle. Well, or an electric comet and you're all just dumb. A meteor photobomb the patch of sky containing Comet Lemon on October 21st, wrapping it in a glowing trail. That's what they're claiming. And it's absolutely insane. Interstellar Object 3i Atlas is about to get very active based on anyone's guess. <laughs> the Interstellar Comet 3i Atlas is barreling towards its closest point to the sun as perihelion looms on October 29th. How different will it look when it reappears on the other side? That's just coming in days, folks. It will, will re-emerge um, on October 29th. Yeah, so go get it. And all November, we will have visuals of the comet. A hidden five-mile-wide asteroid crater beneath the Atlantic has been revealed in stunning 3D. A massive crater hidden beneath the Atlantic seafloor has been confirmed as the result of an asteroid strike 66 million years ago. The new 3D seismic data reveals astonishing details about the violent minutes following impact, towering tsunamis, liquefied rock, and shifting seabeds. Researchers call it a once-in-a-lifetime look at how ocean impacts unfold. And maybe, just maybe, well... This baby and many others are responsible for the extinction of dinosaurs. Many people fear monger about the extinction of coral reefs, but they couldn't be further from the truth. Evaluating 38 years of coral coverage trends on the Great Barrier Reef, insights into resilience and temperature correlation show the Great Barrier Reef has more coral than ever in recorded history. In fact, the coral cover is at its highest since monitoring began in, back in 1985. Here's the paper evaluating 38 years of coral coverage trends on the Great Barrier Reef. Can you believe these charlatans? Yeah, I can. The cheapest... Starlink protocol is now available for you. If you want the fastest high-speed internet, check it out. Starlink for Homes, starting at $49 a month for your first year of service until 10-29. No upfront hardware costs. That means Starlink is free and free professional setup in select areas. Just put in your address down below See if you qualify and get the fastest high-speed internet at the lowest price, insane prices ever. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up, share this video, and be safe. And all our prayers are going out to Jamaica tonight as Hurricane Melissa bears down.